Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's a Frilici Friday. Yay, we always love Fridays, right? It's my absolute favorite day of the week, you guys. I'm sure you probably already all know that. Um, there's just something about Friday, like, woo, we made it through another week. It's always a fabulous week, right? And it's always uh, kind of fun to celebrate the end of the week, too. So hopefully you guys have all had a good week. What's been going on around here? Oh, okay, so I wasn't even gonna start off with this, but like I'm actually like super excited about this because I had a bunch of different people um, texting me yesterday. So we have a um, local newspaper here in Alma in Gratiot County, and um, Cade, my son, made it into the paper as, okay, this is kind of, I have to show you guys this. Hey, Susie, hello, welcome. So he, um, it says, Boys Basketball, Gratiot County Co-Players of the Year. So Cade Ferlici and another good friend of his, Paul Gaddy, they're both on the same team. They both play for Alma. So I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can see. So this is Cade right here. He's got his mask on and he had like a um, shoulder kind of a thingy there. So he's all, he, he's kind of a mess right there basically. And then this is his good friend, Paul. But I was just super duper excited. Hello, Lisa, um, to see. So Cade has worked so hard for so very many years. And so it was just really, really fun to see Gratiot County co-player of the year with his good buddy, Paul. So anyway, sorry, that was totally like, um, not even something I was gonna show you guys, but I'm, I'm really proud and really excited for him. So um, yeah, it's good, you know, when you see like lots of hard work paying off, um, and especially as a mom for your kids, right? It's that like that pride that you take in them. So yeah, so I had a great week just cause um, Kate made it in the paper and um, you know, gets recognition for all of his hard work really is for me more than anything put so much time and effort into it. So it's fun to see that, you know, that's paying off for him. So anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have all had a great week. What do we have going on? We are gonna make two projects today with, I picked the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna just show it to you right now because it's so beautiful, this paper is. So here um, I've got, um, I don't even have a full sheet of this one left. Um, but let's see, thanks Susie, I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> Thank you, Lisa. I know it's it's just fun. And I love to watch basketball too. That's probably like my absolute favorite sport. So it's been fun to watch him play that also. And I think he's going to be able to continue on in college. That's our hope. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to continue watching too. So hello, Sharon. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out today. I just hung out with Sharon last night, actually. Um, so here, I'll scoot this out of the way for a sec. So we um, together watched um, Stampin' Up! and On Tour event. So we got to see some sneak peeks of some fun new stuff from the next annual catalog. We got to see some stamping and we did lots of um, networking too, which was fun. Um, basically, I think there were like over 200 people on this particular on tour event. I signed up for the one in Chicago just because I liked the timing of it. Basically, it wasn't that I, it doesn't really matter. We didn't go to Chicago anyway, although that would have been really fun too, right, Sharon? <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so demonstrators from the most part were from the Midwest area. Hello, Denise. Um, we're on there. So she broke us up into different um, kind of small groups, maybe with four or five of us. Um, and then we just got to kind of chat and network and kind of share ideas and swap cards, you know, pictures of projects we had made. So um, yeah, it was really, really cool. So yeah, so good morning, Sharon. It was fun to hang out with you last night and do that. So okay, so this is the designer series paper we're going to feature on the projects today, the sand and sea <laughs> yes, they have wine. They have wine in Chicago. Yes, they do. I'm sure they have lots of wine in Chicago. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, so this is one side of the paper and then I'll flip it over and show you guys. Here's another side and these are just three of the sheets. You kind of see, um, it looks kind of like sand, right? Um, and then just some other kind of watercolor wash paper right there and then the blue right there too. So that's half of the paper pack here is the other paper pack. So just really soft, beautiful colors on this designer series paper. So there's one side there and then there the other side there. So we are gonna have some fun with that designer series paper. This is found in, <clears throat> the um, January to June mini catalog. So not to be confused with our annual catalog, this paper will retire, but not until the end of June. So you still have some time to get this and play with this if you are interested in doing that. And you guys know I always give you the item codes, all the details, everything for the projects that I'll make in a little bit. Those will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. This afternoon I'll get everything uploaded with all the dimensions, item codes, everything you need to um, order, and then recreate the projects on your own if you would like to do that. 
So um, also, so speaking of catalog stuff, the retiring lists, you know, I've been talking about that for a few weeks. Much of the in-color stuff, the retiring in-color stuff, so the what would it be, 2019 to 2021 um, colors. Uh, a lot of that stuff is sold out. So hopefully you got that, don't worry about that. But lots of other things um, still retiring. Um, so I wanna show you guys, we actually made a bunch of beautiful cards um, at our Simple Beautiful Card Class last Friday. If you remember, I was like booking through Facebook Live because I had to get out of here to go um, to class. And so I wanna share those cards with you. I will tell you, these are not my own designs. And I wasn't even thinking about um, like, writing down to give credit because I kind of wasn't even thinking about sharing these with you guys. So I apologize um, that I'm not going to try to take credit for any of these people's work because um, I, I can't even quite remember where Pinterest. I always look on Pinterest. So this was the first card that we made with the Hydrangea Haven Designer Series paper. This is the most beautiful paper in our January to June mini catalog. So again, this is going to be around for a couple more months. What are we? April. So we have April, May, end of June. It could sell out. Um, they did tell us everything that's retiring in the catalog, so this paper is retiring. What we don't have right now are discounts on things. Um, <clears throat> that'll happen, I think, in May. We'll be able, May or June, maybe it's June. I don't know, probably June, feel right, like the last month of the catalog. So anyway, but if you love this paper, I would order it because it's beautiful and you're going to want to have a package of it for yourself, I'm sure. The other thing we used is that um, Thinking of You stamp, which is from that Happy Thoughts stamp set. So this was one of our million dollar sales achievers. I am, her name is like in and out of my brain, Jackie, Jackie Bullheis, um, designed this stamp set as kind of, um, I think it's like an in the Audi, like a, you know, outside of the card, inside of the card kind of sentiment um, type of stamp set, beautiful stamp set. This was one I featured in a class to go a couple of months ago. So anyway, this is retiring at the end of June, so make sure you get this stamp set while you still can and you can make beautiful cards like that one with your Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper and your Happy Thoughts stamp set. The pearls are sticking around, if you can see those pastel pearls and that gorgeous great ribbon is carrying over into our next annual catalog too. So you got some stuff retiring and some stuff um, that you can still order. So that was one of the projects. Um, and like I said, ugh, I wish I could remember um, all the other, well, I think what I kind of cased was the card layout. I don't know if that was exactly this card or not, but I love, I don't use that fold. A lot of times I'll do a tall card and it'll fold up like that, but I don't do a wide one like that very often. So that was kind of cool too. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I am not trying to take credit. I just can't remember who I got that card idea from. And same thing with this one. Um, this one used a bunch of our ink colors that were retiring, and I didn't want to focus on those so much because a lot of it had already sold out. So I changed up the um, kind of colors in here. I love these fun, bright, bold colors all together. So if I can remember, I used, so Bermuda Bay is the card front or card base, I guess. Um, there's, I think it was Daffodil Delight um pumpkin pie and granny apple green look like the four colors that we used on there this is the circle celebration stamp set and this is one that i um loved like the minute that i saw it in the catalog i think because I don't know, probably five or six or seven years ago, we had a circle stamp set and it was so much fun, kind of like this where you can like create your own designer series paper with it. So I loved that stamp set so much. Of course it retired. I got rid of it in one of my buy one get one free events and so when I saw this circle celebration stamp set pop up I was like of course I have to have that so this was a fun project I again I can't remember who I cased this from but honestly what I always do when I'm looking for ideas so for example with this circle celebration stamp set I go to Pinterest and in the looking glass I always type in stampin up first so I would type in stampin up and circle celebration and you'll see this card um, very similar anyway um, on Pinterest. I just can't remember who I cased it from with um, the retiring in colors, but I loved kind of the layout that she used. I love, this is that tall card. I always love to do that. And we did stamp on the inside of the card also. And then another cool thing is that ribbon that I can't remember. It was kind of, it kind of looks like spider web ribbon. It was actually part of 
um, the Halloween suite in last um, July to August, or July to December or August to December, whatever the holiday mini catalog, um, that ribbon was in there, but it is carrying over. So that's very cool. I'm pretty sure that this ribbon, um, that kind of satin ribbon with the um, silver edge, that is retiring and maybe even sold out already. So don't worry about that if you don't have that you know, we'll find something else for you. But I loved that that um, ribbon, and then I love the stamp set. But make sure, again, get that Circle Celebration stamp set while you can. We also used the thank you from the Happy Thoughts stamp set on there too. So those two are both gonna be retiring at the end of June, okay? Um, let's see, what else I wanna show you? Another fun card. Oh, we have to do envelopes too, so there's the fun envelope on that one. <clears throat> So this is just a really simple layout. I love to use this layout though because it features the designer series paper so well. Um, and then in addition, actually, this is some of our um, in color ribbon, the cinnamon cider, that twill ribbon in all five of those in colors that came out last year is retiring also. I think it's still available. I didn't see that um, already as discontinued. So you should be able to still get any of those in color twill ribbons. This designer series paper, that ice cream corner designer series paper is going to retire at the end of June. Um, but the stamp set, the ice cream stamp set, whatever that's called, um, is not retiring. The bundle though with the stamp set and the punch will retire. So if you love the stamp set and the ice cream builder punch, get those in the bundle now and save your 10%. They will be available, but separately. So you won't be able to get them in the bundle with that discount any longer. Okay, so that was another fun, you melt my heart, right? And another great thing, those opal rounds are carrying over into our next catalog. Um, and you can see actually we kind of featured the stamp set inside there and then our envelope there too. So that was kind of another fun one. And then lastly, do we, oh yeah, sweet ice cream. This was the name of the stamp set. This is not retiring, but the bundle with the stamp set and the punch is retiring. And then lastly, we used, so this stamp is from this stamp set called A Grand Kid that is carrying over. They've got some great sentiments in here. And at first you kind of read this and think it's like a grandparent stamp set. <clears throat> Excuse me, because they've got some really nice sentiments in here, but it's definitely not just for grandparents, uh, you know, with grandkids. I think you can use many of these. Um, I mean, obviously the happy birthday, right? You can use anytime. It doesn't have to just be for grandkids, right? So, but I love this. So smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. And this um, designer series paper in all of the patterns. So the brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and both of the in color packs. I haven't need another finger there, right? We have six. <laughs> that designer series paper is retiring. Um, so make sure you get, if you love those patterns um, in the designer series paper, get that while you still can. And then as well, my most beloved stitched shape dies are retiring. So if you can kind of see, if I zoom in there, you can see the stitching around the circles. So there are four circles, four ovals, and four squares in the stitched shapes dies, and they are finally retiring. Hello, Deb, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, so yeah, I'm super bummed because I love, I think that was probably our very first die set that had the stitching on it too. So we've got lots of other great stamp sets um, now that have the stitching in them too. And then we just stamped in the corner of that envelope, again, with that little circle celebration stamp set. I have been using that stamp set so much. <coughs> Sorry, I got the tickle in my throat. Anyway, I think it's great, that little circle celebration. I have to show you one more time because it is so fun. So I think it's great for kind of kid cards, masculine cards. Um, I just, there's something about the circles that are just so fun to play with and kind of build things with. So hello, Christine, welcome. And Lily and Stormy are trying to sneak through without um, saying a word. All right, so Lily's gonna take the dog out and then she's going back to school, right? And he's going to be so sad because she's loving all over him right now. <laughs> all right. Bye, Lil. Have a good afternoon. Okay. So what else do I want to show you guys? I guess that's it, right? But so lots of stuff is retiring. So I'm trying to really kind of point out and give examples of things too so that you make sure you get what you can while you still can, right? We still have through the end of April. Um, you know, some things are selling out, but not too, too many yet. But don't wait because this is like the time when things really start kind of ramping up, um, selling out. Okay. Um, what else do we have going on? 
Oh, I know. Uh, is that the time to tell you guys? I'm like, I'm looking, I'm questioning like the order of how I wanted to talk about things. But I think, yeah, we can talk about, yeah. So kind of retiring list, talked about that, all the stuff that's retiring. Now I'm going to kind of shift gears and tell you, I want to show you guys. I don't want to do too many sneak peeks because you can't get any of these, these things yet. But so our new annual catalog, right, that will start on... May, can I read that? What does that say? Oh my goodness, let me get my glasses. Um, I think it's May 4, yeah, okay. So the new catalog right here, I can only show you the cover. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's beautiful, so many great things in here. This new catalog starts on May 4. So with that being said, I am going to do um, an in color club with, let me show you. So these are our new in colors and they are beautiful. I know I say this um, pretty regularly. Well, I don't know, do I? Um, this is what I wanna say is sometimes it takes me a little while to kind of really fall in love with our in colors. This year, not the case, which actually I'm like, oh, I almost have a soft succulent sweater on right now, don't I? So look, guys, these are all of our new in colors. So, and I'm gonna try to remember these. We have polished pink, right here, maybe I'll kind of flash them up. So we got polished pink, we have fresh freesia, we have pale papaya, soft succulent, that was the one that I said, I kind of have that soft succulent sweater on, and then evening evergreen. So, oh my goodness, I just think, and there's something about <clears throat> when you fan them all out together like that, they are just beautiful, aren't they? So what I'm gonna do, I'm starting <clears throat> my In Color Club. I'm taking signups right now. Let me get all my details here so I can tell you guys about it. So what's the In Color Club? Basically, if you love all of these colors and you think, okay, I wanna get the, so this is what you get. Every single month you get one color. So for example, maybe your first month, you're gonna get polished pink and this is everything you're gonna get in the In Color Club. Each month for five months, you're gonna get one of these colors with all of this stuff, okay? So you're gonna get a full pack of cardstock, you're gonna get the ink pad, you're gonna get the ink refill, you're gonna get the open weave ribbon, which, ooh, bummer, I don't have that over here right now. It's beautiful though, this ribbon is gorgeous in these colors, right? You also, that's for, you're gonna get the, um, the marker, you're gonna get two Stampin' Blends in each of, like light and dark in each of those colors, and you are gonna get eight, yes, eight pieces of designer series paper in each of the colors too, okay? So again, one month you get all that stuff in polished pink, the next month in fresh freesia, the next month in pale papaya, the next month in soft succulent, and the next month in evening evergreen. So spread it out over five months, which is great too, because then, um, you know, you kinda like, instead of having to buy all of this stuff at once, right, which would be pretty expensive, spread it out over five months, so it's kind of like a later, Meyer. I think they're probably about calling about our COVID shots, which we are all, did I tell you guys that? Kate and I got our shots a couple weeks ago. We got the one and done shot that apparently is now recalled, but we have both been fine. And then Lily, cause she's under 18, um, has to get the two dose shot. So she did hers the same week we did ours and in a couple weeks she'll get her second one. So anyway, sorry, like crazy caveat there, right? Okay, so back to In Color Club. I'm talking super fast. There's so much I wanna tell you guys about. Okay, so each month it's $48 to get all of that stuff in each of those colors, right? Then one month, you're actually the host of the In Color Club, and there are beautiful embellishments that are in these five colors. You get a package of the embellishments, and then you get to pick $20 in free stuff. Whatever you want um, is free to you. For, pick whatever $20 in stuff that you want. Um, oh, Christine, you got the, yeah, you got it last Saturday. Hopefully you're feeling okay too. I'm sure it was, you know, kind of like a few people that got, pretty sick from it, the way I understand it. So hopefully you're feeling good. I know we didn't have neither Cade or I, which obviously they say the younger you are, kind of the more um, trouble people have with these vaccinations. And Cade, he's 18, um, he didn't have any problem. Well, almost no problem. Like he felt a little weird that night and next morning, um, but that was it. So yeah, okay, so In Color Club, right? You get all of these colors over five months. It's $48 per month. You get $20 in free stuff, and you get the um, In Color embellishments the month that you're the host, too. And I'll let you know when you're the host, you can pick anything that you want. Um, ooh, you had chills and aches for a few days. Uh, yeah, yikes. Well, 
I guess if that means you're vaccinated and then you don't have to feel awful from COVID, right? It was worth it. I guess is how we're looking at that. So, okay. So let me know if anybody has any interest in joining the In Color Club, I can send out the link. I'm going to be posting more information on my blog over the next couple of days about it. Um, but basically I can send you a PayPal link, get you set up, or if you want to do credit card, whatever you want to do, you can, um, post a comment in here that you want to sign up. You can message me, you can email me. We will get you signed up and we're going to start. So I will start, I'll put my first um, in color club order in on May 4th when we can um, officially order out of the new catalog. And then I'll do it each month after that. So it'll be May, June, July, August, and September. So by September, um, you will have everything in all five of these in colors, which will be awesome because you're going to love playing with them, right? So the other cool thing that I want to do for you guys is a designer series paper share, which at this point, I can't even show you all of the beautiful paper in the annual catalog. But again, so in our new annual catalog, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, you know what? I decided not to. It's funny. I'm reading this. I'm like, oh, I have bad info. <laughs> right there because I I was going to include the like brights regals subtles and neutrals designer series paper but that really like increased the price a whole bunch so I decided not to include those apparently I still have them on my flyer so hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's eleven different packs and I think it's almost all 12 by 12 designer series paper. So you get a half a sheet. So you get a six by 12 sheet of each of the patterns of designer series paper in the new annual catalog. And again, I'm not even allowed to open this up, so I can't even show you. Um, but there is a bunch of beautiful paper. It's a great way to get that sample. You essentially get a quarter of a pack of all of our new designer series paper in the designer series paper share. And it is just $42. So it's an awesome deal to, again, basically get a sample of everything, use that, play with it, whatever you use the most, then you can get a whole pack of it. Um, so it's just a great way. And I love doing the designer series paper shares too, because I love to order it and get it and look at it all. And then I know like what I want to get more of as well too. So great way to kind of see everything without having to spend hundreds of dollars on all of it, right? So if anybody's interested in that, I again will be posting in my blog and um, getting the links and info out about that as well. So let me know if you're interested in signing up for the annual catalog paper share, okay? And I will put my first order in. Um, I'll do that one on May 4th also, and I'll keep that registration open on through Tuesday, May 25th. I like to kind of give a few weeks because then people can start seeing the designer series paper um, and decide whether they want to get it or not too. But that'll be the last day to RSVP. Um, I'll put as, you know, every time I get a four person, you know, grouping, I'll put an order in. Um, so if I get a bunch of four person groupings um, before May 4th, then we'll just get everything ordered right then. Okay. So also too, if you are interested in getting an annual catalog, if you um, don't have another demonstrator that you work through and you have not gotten an annual catalog and you would like one, please let me know. Again, you can post right here in the comments. You can send me a message, email me. Just um, let me know that you would like me to send and I would be happy to mail you one of these annual catalogs, okay? Because they're beautiful, lots and lots of good stuff in there. Okay, let's see if I talked about that. I'm trying to like move things off of my table as I talk about them so I stay on track. I think we are we are ready to do our first drawing, which is for the beautiful, the blushing bride metallic ribbon, which I have this little strip. This was like the end of something I was working with. So you kind of see how like shimmery and beautiful that ribbon is, right? So your name is in the little basket here, right? If you shared the Facebook Live video or you're new to me and signed up for my email list. I always include the link to sign up for my email list if you are not already signed up. That'll be, I always say like in the above this Facebook Live video today, there'll be a link with, um, and lots of other information in there too. Um, but sign up for my email list, you get a free um, PDF tutorial as well. And then your name is in here. Every week I check that to see who um, is new to my email list, sign up and I put your name in here. So you could be a lucky winner of the next Facebook Live giveaway. Or like I said, share the video, which you guys know I truly appreciate all of your shares of my video. Okay, so here we go. 
we have a lot of lucky winner. I think I have two in my hand. Now I have one in my hand. Miss Sabina. All right, congratulations. Sabina Miller is the winner of the Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon. So Sabina, I will put this out on the porch for you this afternoon and you can pick up your ribbon whenever you would like to. Okay, let's get those, put that right there. All right, I gotta get names in the drawing for the next one. All right, and I need a quick sip of water. One moment, please. Hmm. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, I love these super cute, the resin hearts. So we've got the fun little bright red, kind of real red hearts, and then the white hearts here also. So these are, this will be the prize that we give away. Again, share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list and your name will go in um, the drawing to win these resin heart embellishments on our next Facebook Live. Okay, so that will be awesome, right? Excited. Those are just so cute. There's something about all those little hearts. And I think they're so fun how they kind of like, it's almost like they're falling all over the place in the package too. So, um, okay, let me scoot that out of the way too. Do, 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 do. All right, I think, what are we gonna do now? Let me do a quick reminder. So most of you guys know this. If you're new to me though, you might not know. Every single week I demonstrate a couple of projects, right? So actually last week I did three, I demonstrated three projects. So we did a couple of cards. They were simple cards from the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I demonstrated these two cards and then they gave us some stencils in our Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I showed you how to make this fun card too with one of my other favorite stamp sets, the Pretty Perennial stamp set that is retiring at the end of June also. So if you put an online order in last week and used the host code that you can always find on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, if you ordered at least $30, you're gonna get these three cards from me as a thank you for your order. You, if you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either the April free embellishment, which are the pastel pearls, or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. And then this was my project that I included in the demo design dream team PDF tutorial, right? So $50 order, right? You get to choose either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. And then your name is also in the drawing to win one of my most absolute favorite stamp sets, the Lovely You stamp set, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do our drawing now for that Lovely You stamp set. And that you only have to put in a $30 order each week um, to get your name in the drawing for the Lovely You stamp set, okay? So just a minimum $30 order. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, we have a one lucky winner and it is going to go to Miss Kathy Hilliard. Okay, this is amazing. So Kathy's been such a great customer. I think she's ordered for, I don't know how many weeks in a row for me and she wins so much. There are actually other names in here. So congratulations, Kathy. I don't get that many online orders. You guys know that, right? So your odds are really good, but somehow Kathy is like dominating the um, drawings lately. So congratulations, Kathy, that is awesome. And I do truly appreciate it. She's been a really good online ordering customer for me. So thank you, Kathy. Kathy, you are the proud new owner of the Lovely You stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you. So congratulations. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, I have, so this product is actually already retired and completely sold out. Yes, it is beautiful, isn't it, Miss Christine? Um, so yeah, this paper, it's so fun. I loved the Whale of a Time designer series paper. And you cannot get this any longer. The only way that you can get this now is if you put an online order in of at least $30 through me using the host code. Your name will go in the drawing next Facebook Live to win the Whale of a Time designer series paper. Such cute, fun, kind of underwater themed paper. Here's the back side of it too. You can see all the fish kind of swimming through the sea there too. So that's what we will draw for on our next Facebook Live. Okay, let's see. Are we ready to, mm. oh, I know. I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Um, bingo, we played bingo on, what was it, Wednesday? So two nights ago, we played bingo at the stamp studio. I gave away a bunch of new products. So I actually, so as demonstrators, we can pre-order out of the new catalog. And so I ordered a bunch of stuff, bunch of new stuff, a bunch of in colors, 
So I gave away a bunch of cardstock and the ink pads and the refills so everybody could really kind of see the new ink colors too. And then as well, a bunch of other stamp, set, stamp sets and dies and embellishments, designer series paper. There's so much good stuff. Um, so we had lots and lots of fun playing bingo and um, people winning those new prizes. And then as well, we did a couple of make and takes. So I'm gonna show you, cause I was really um, very pleased with, oh, there's a rhinestone. I'm like, where did that? Okay, I see where it came off of. Let's see, do you think I can put it back on? Is the glue dot still there? Does that ever happen to you guys? I think this was one I was playing around with a lot and so it didn't stick very well. So, okay, so this was one of the make and takes that we made. And honestly, this is another card. I cased this from, I think it was Julie Davidson. So I went online and I'm sure I searched for, cause I love this art gallery stamp set, which is actually not retiring the bundle with these art gallery dies and then the floral frame dies, the bundle is retiring, but you'll still be able to get the stamp set and the dies separately. So you can see um, we stamped and then we die cut. I'm thinking of you with some of the um, fine art floral ribbon that is also not retiring, it's carrying over, and then some of our gold glimmery gems too. So beautiful project. Again, pulled it right off of Pinterest. I always just type in Stampin' Up, and in this case I did Art Gallery, and then this was a beautiful project that came up. And so this was one of the cards that we made um, at Bingo the other night because I love this stamp set and I love that designer series paper. The designer series paper is retiring. That fine art floral designer series paper will retire at the end of June. So get that because it's that is beautiful, beautiful paper. Here's another example of that designer series paper. I'll kind of show you because it's a little bit covered up. So this is a little treat that I made for everybody. And so um, Mango Melody little um, box with some more of that fine art floral designer series paper along with the heart too. And then this sweet sentiment that says, with gratitude. This is from, I think it's like teeny, it's not teeny tiny wishes, is it? Now I'm trying to remember. It's a sentiment stamp set that has probably like 30 different um, smallish sentiments like this that'll fit right on this kind of a little label. Why can't itty bitty greetings maybe? I think that might be it. Anyway, it's retiring also. And I love just cause it has, it's for like so many different occasions throughout the year, um, along with great sentiments like with gratitude, right? And then I use some of the in color ribbon that's retiring. You can still get this in all five of our in colors and put a little package of Rolos in there too. So that was a little treat that everybody got at Bingo the other night. And then I'm gonna show you, actually the other make and take that we made is gonna be one of our projects that I'm gonna demonstrate for you with that sand and sea designer series paper. Okay, so I think we are ready. Do, 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 do. Let me just do a double check and make sure, but I think we have talked about everything. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna flip the camera down. I'm gonna show you just a couple of things, a couple more things, and then we will do our stamping and our projects, okay? So turn your heads away for a sec while we fly through the air. And something seems funny about my mount here. Let's see. Okay, eh. Okay, we'll see what, what I did, if that worked. Okay, we'll move the glasses out of the way. Okay, I think everything, the view looks good. Here is our host code for this month. Again, it's always on my blog, VXEX2AED. This is the code you're gonna wanna use if you order through me to get all of the fun Facebook Live freebies and so on. Wanna do a quick reminder about the wonderful as you, yeah, wonderful as you class to go. You still have until next Friday. It is, let's actually scoot this over a little bit. So RSVPs are due next Friday for this class to go featuring the wonderful as you stamp set. We also use the beautiful gorgeous scrape. You can see that I love that ribbon. There's something about that kind of sheer ribbon like that. And then we also, where are my pearls? Here. It also features the pastel pearls too, along with the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper that I still don't even have enough of to show you, but you get a quarter of a pack of the paper. Okay, so I'll tell you about the options real quick. Option number one includes the stamp set, 
the pearls, the ribbon, a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper that you use on your projects. You actually get the paper for free in option number one. Plus it's these four cards, two of each of them, the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put everything together step by step. That option number one is $50. Option number two is if you already have or want to use a different sentiment stamp set. You get the pearls, you get the ribbon, you get the quarter pack of paper, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects. Option number two is $31. Both option number one and option number two ship for an additional $9 priority mail shipping fee. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you how to put the projects together. It gives you um, dimensions, item codes, colors, everything that you need to know to basically put these projects together on your own. Option number three for the PDF tutorial is $15. Or if you're in my downline, if you bought the starter kit through me or anybody on my team, you get the PDF tutorial for free. Then option number four is also for my downline. Any of my current inspired stampers in any of my three levels can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces for just $12 for these projects. They still need to get their stamps up to do their own stamping, okay? But again, RSVPs are due next Friday, April 23rd, and the kits will ship out no later than May 5th, okay? So beautiful. I'll show you a quick flash because I love, love, love these cards. They are beautiful, the purples. The purple, the ribbon, the pearls, gorgeous stuff, ladies. You're going to want one of those to-go kits. They're so fun. Okay, I think we are ready to... What, do I need my glasses? I don't know. I've got them right here in case I do. We've got our... Oh, I know. We need grid paper. That's what we need. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move this up out of the way. I always use my grid paper to kind of help me. Um, make sure I'm in view on the camera. Now I know. Okay, I've got things pretty well centered. We're looking good. Okay, so this was the other make and take that we made at Bingo the other night that features that sand and sea designer series paper. It also features the Healing Hugs stamp set. So we use the Sending You Healing Vibes on the outside and then Wishing You a Quick and Complete Recovery is this sentiment right here that we used on the inside of the card. I love this though with the get well soon. If hugs and kisses could cure, you'd be immune to everything. Feel better soon. And then I guess that's it, right? And then just some other, I love that rose imagery, right? Just beautiful imagery. This stamp set is retiring, so I wanna make sure everybody knows that. Make sure you get this while you still can. I think it's just got some great sentiments. Again, um, sentiments are just something you can always use, right? When they just say what you need to say, you know, with sometimes it's hard to say these things, right? So sending you healing vibes, right, is a good one. Um, the other thing I wanna show you guys was I had two other stamp sets that are retiring that have great sentiments in them that I was kind of considering as I was working on these um, make and takes for bingo. I wanted to make sure to kind of highlight things that were retiring. So I'll just show you one at a time. This is another one of my absolute favorite sentiment stamp sets called Strong and Beautiful that is retiring. I'm just gonna go through these real quick because I think they're definitely worth highlighting one more time. Make sure you have this stamp set if you do not have it already. So we've got the Happy Mother's Day. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. I love that as a graduation one, right? You have truly been a shining example to me. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. Beautiful, right? You're amazing, and that's a fact. God made you my mother. Love made you my friend. To the woman who taught me what it means to be brave, thank you for always being there for me. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. And to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. That'd be a great sentiment. Like if anybody ever sent you a card like that, right? To the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. That's awesome. Okay, so then here's one other sentiment stamp set I wanna make sure that you guys have before it retires. And let's see, actually all three of these... Yes, they're all in our annual catalog, so they all are going to be retiring in just a few weeks. So at the end of April will be like the last time that you can order these sentiment stamp sets. And I love, so I can't thank you enough. Your friendship is a blessing. Wishing you much happiness today and always. 
There's a little to and from for you, the little hello baby. Yumalicious, that's a fun one, right? Sending healing hugs, and this calls for confetti. So make sure you get so sentimental, strong and beautiful, and healing hugs while you still can, ladies. Okay, let's go ahead and do our stamping and die cutting. Yeah, okay, I had a little note. I was like, what did I, what was I trying to make sure I didn't forget, but I don't think I forgot anything, so I think we are good. Let's just get these guys out. Oh, I had to use Circle Celebration again. We actually don't even need this, but for make and takes at um, Bingo, I just stamped that because I thought it kind of looked like sand maybe, right? If you can kind of zoom in there and see that a little bit, right? So I, again, Circle Celebration, that cute circle stamp set. It's great. I just am stamping them on envelopes all over the place, basically. <laughs> so we don't need to do an envelope on Facebook Live. Um. Okay, so let me, I'm going to give you dimensions here because this one's a little bit different um so sahara sand is our cardstock that we are using so along the 11 inch side we cut it in half at five and a half inches and then actually along this is the eight and a half inch side we actually cut it down to seven and a half inches and then we still scored it at four and a quarter inches okay so again it's seven and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter those details will be on my blog this afternoon though too okay so there's your card front your card base right there right then we have that piece of whisper white and if you can see barely, right, I embossed just that little kind of strip of it because I think that adds, that texture is kind of fun. I just, it's about an inch there that we embossed with the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's my standard inside of a card piece right there, okay? Then we also have a piece of the sand and sea. Beautiful. So this is like spring break paper right here, I think. The little sand dollars right here are just gorgeous. And those kind of really soft, beautiful, kind of spring, summery colors. This paper, it just makes me want to go on vacation, like playing with the paper, right? And then here's just kind of like a little watercolor wash really pretty blue. I think they are referring to that as seaside spray, one of a retiring um, in colors. Okay, so this piece measures three inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping and die cutting and embossing and then we will put things together. So let's see. This is just, so this is just a scrap of Sahara sand cardstock for that label and then we're going to stamp our sending healing vibes on this and we're going to emboss this piece okay so scoot those out of the way what am i looking for i want this right here my sahara sand always tap 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 nice and easy don't squish too hard right we're going to stamp that okay put that one right there and then we can do our die cutting and embossing i'm going to stamp this after I do my embossing on that piece there. Okay, so we will do that first. Let's do our embossing. I'll show you. Just get this over a little bit more, I think, because I want to get this up in view a little bit better for you guys. There we go. Because I think this is, somebody was asking me, how do I do... Ooh, you know what? I need my other platform. Hold on one sec. I have only my magnetic platform right here. We're right back. One moment, ladies. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where are my platforms? Okay, so we need our regular platform number one there. And then, so with the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder, all I do is just kind of line up so I have about an inch. And you know what I also actually like to do is kind of line it up along that line, make sure that is straight right there. And then I'm just gonna lay it down just like this. And so you have to kind of, you have to run it through sideways kind of carefully. And then we just emboss that kind of one inch strip on the side of our cardstock. So let's open that up and you see, oh, in the right light, right? There's a little bit of a glare. The sun is shining now, ladies. It was really dreary and ugly here. Um, kind of 
the all morning long. Oops, actually, we still need to die cut this, don't we? I'm too worried about um, the weather. You know, I always have to give you the weather update, don't I? <laughs> I guess, like my dad, I'm a little bit of like a weather freak. You know, it's just nice to kind of, I love the sun, right, ladies? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are using, these are my Tasteful Label dies. I love these dies, so very happy. We're gonna use those two that kind of came out of that section right there. But I love all the different sizes, the kind of detail and texture um, and stitching that go on these dies. Beautiful set of dies, so very happy that they are carrying over. Okay, so we're gonna put that one on there. We're gonna line that guy up there. Oops, excuse me. My brand new cutting plates, I barely used them, and so I can barely see them. Because <laughs> usually, you know, they're so etched over that like they're really easy to find, but these are like glass. See, you can barely, I've, I've cut a few butterflies with them, right? Okay, so we've got that one. And then this one has the stitching, right? Can you see that? That one has the stitching, and then this one has a little bit of, here, let's get this out of the way, a little bit of um, kind of an embossed, can you guys see there? You can kind of see it, that little embossed edge, like around, just around the edging of it. Okay. Goes in there. All right, I think we are done with the die cutting machine for the moment. All right, I have some adhesive. These sleeves are like super kind of big and billowy, and so I keep <laughs> catching them on everything. Um. But yeah, I think we're good. Oh, I know. Let's do our, we're going to stamp our sentiment on the inside. This, wishing you a quick and complete recovery, right? Let's see. I think that's going to work, right? Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay. Nope. It's going to be this way. <laughs> I kept thinking like, am I going to do it? If I do it right in the middle and it's upside down, then that would be okay, right? There we go. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. All right. So we might as well add this to the inside of our card. Are we in? We're in good view, right? Okay. All of a sudden, you know, when I use my stamp and cut and emboss machine, it tends to wiggle everything all over the place. So I wasn't sure if I was still in view or not, but I think we're good. Okay. So we're going to add our designer series paper. This end would be the better end to work with right? The end with adhesive on it, <laughs> not the other end, right? And then we're going to just going to add some adhesive on this guy, put him on our label. So you can see this was a simple project. Now I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals. I'm not going to put one way over there because um, I don't, I want to be able to open my card, right? So we're going to put a couple right there. I'm going to put that maybe right about there. And then Two last little details. We are gonna add a linen thread bow. Okay, you guys are really quiet today. It's funny, am I putting you to sleep? Maybe, okay, so this is, um, I did a double bow. So basically you just double this twine over and then act as if, which sometimes is easier said than done, you act as if you have one strand of linen thread instead of two strands and you just tie a bow. And actually that worked out pretty well. I was trying to help everybody at bingo the other night and I was struggling a little bit, but it was later on in the evening. And you know how sometimes that just happens at the end of your evening. Okay, we're gonna grab a glue dot. We don't need that guy anymore either, do we? Okay. So you guys know working with the glue dots, well, let's find the next one, there we go. It's easiest to just put your linen thread right to the glue dot. You kind of peel it back with your fingernail and then we'll put that right on there, okay? Then the last step, because I always have to just add a little bit of sparkle, right? So we're gonna use some of our, um, what are these, the opal rounds. We're just gonna kind of sprinkle a few of these around on our card, we'll do one more. Oops, come on, little buddy. Maybe put one right there, there. It's almost like little like 
water droplets or something, right? So there we go, card number one. This was our second make and take at Bingo the other night. And I just love, there's something about that fun fold, right? Isn't that so fun? But just that little extra added detail just kind of adds something to your project. Okay, and again, featuring that healing hug stamp set that is retiring. Okay, scooting those out of the way. Actually, let's, I'm gonna clean these, right? You guys have your chamois, don't you? Right, make sure you have your chamois to do your cleaning. So easy, you can see my chamois is very well loved these days. Okay, it was kind of sitting in the sun, it's a little bit warm now. Ooh, that warmth is nice too. Okay, so next project, again, featuring the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. So this is another little bit of a fun fold, right? So we're going to open that up. Thank you, Susie. I'm glad you like that one. And then I had to use more bling, those um, blue gems that are carrying over to, super excited about that. As well, this is that Fine Art Floral Ribbon that is carrying over. Sand and Sea Designer Series paper, this is the one that is retiring, though. And then another great stamp set. Let me share that one with you. We used, this one is from the Dandelion Wishes stamp set. Another beautiful stamp set, right? And I think on the inside, actually. Yep, I stamped some of the little dandelions right there, right? So just this stamp kind of in the corner right there. And then we've got that sending well wishes your way. So another great sentiment in there, along with wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness. And this one, I made a wish and you came true. Isn't that so sweet? So again, this, this is another beautiful stamp set retiring out of the annual catalog just in a couple of weeks at the end of April, basically. <coughs> okay, need my water. Talking, talking, talking so much, ladies. <laughs> Pretty good at it these days. Okay, so we've got our big dandelion stamp. We've got our sentiment. We used So Saffron ink on this one. And let me tell you about how I made this card base. Okay, so we have, I'll show you again. So this would be a full sheet of So Saffron cardstock, okay? Along the 11 inch side, right? I line this up properly. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, like I pretty much always do, or many, many times, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at two inches and at, is that right? Two inches and six inches. Yep. So score it at two inches and at six inches. Okay. This inside white piece right there measures three and three quarter by five and one quarter. So that's going to go right inside there, right? And then on the outside, of our card, our designer series paper. I'm gonna just kind of lay that on there. It wants to not um, stay open so well. So we have that piece of designer series paper right there, measures two and one quarter by five and one quarter. And then the piece on the bottom, it's like little sand, right? One and three quarters by five and one quarter. And then I just have my extra strips of um, So Saffron and Whisper White cardstock for my sentiment and my die cutting there, okay? All right, so let's do our stamping. So we're gonna use our So Saffron ink pad, okay? And we've got this Sending Well Wishes Your Way. So we're just gonna stamp that right on there. So those two are just gonna be die cut. And then I'm actually gonna pull in my little grid paper, my little scrap, because this is a big stamp and I don't want to put all of it. So we're just going to kind of stamp in the corner with our little dandelions there. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's all we do for our stamping, okay? Now, this time we are using, these are the dino and, or the, excuse me, the hippo and friends dies. So we used these two labels. I'm going to pull those out. Right, oops, and I apparently grabbed an extra one in my flourish to pull, but I love these labels. Just such a great set of labels. Those aren't gonna go back in there very well for me right now, right? But so these labels, these labels, and then we used these two that came right out of there. So the small and medium size labels are what we're gonna use on our project today. Okay, so let's grab our cut and emboss machine again, and we will do our die cutting of these two pieces. Scoop that out of the way. OK. 
okay? So again, ba basic white. I think I might have said whisper white. I'm so used to saying whisper white. Basic white cardstock and so saffron cardstock and so saffron ink. Always the beauty of the coordination, right, of Stampin' Up! products with our cardstock and our ink and our designer series paper that all coordinate. Hello, Amy, welcome. So glad you can be here with us today. So we've got that one and that one. We're gonna just scoot these things right out of the way. Okay, so now we can put our things together. Okay, so we'll just add our sentiment. And I love, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see or bring it up to the camera. So there's just a little bit of embossing in the right light there. You can kind of see it, right? It's a little edge around both of those pieces. I love that. We are gonna add, where's the top? I wanna be more toward the top here because <laughs> again, I wanna be able to open my card. I think I did do one more, maybe right about there. That should work, okay. We're gonna put this piece on the inside of our project. Okay, put that guy right inside there. Okay, then let's put, ooh, isn't that pretty too? More sand dollar, don't you love that? Oh, makes me wanna go on vacation. Speaking of vacation, ladies, so it's getting closer now. Um, my kids and I are heading to Maui the middle of May for our Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So we will be on the beach. Oh my goodness. Um, they're gonna do a luau for us. Um, what else? They're, we can't do quite as many things like gathering together as we normally would, but because we'll be outside a lot in Hawaii, we will still be able to do some of those things. So, oh my gosh, first trip in a really long time. It was supposed to happen last July, and then obviously with COVID, that kind of changed everything, so it got rescheduled. Now we're kind of doing two-in-one trip. Um, so if you earned the incentive trip kind of two years ago and last year, you're, we get to do like a kind of a mega extended trip to Maui. So, oh my gosh, so very, very excited about this. Um, to go with my kids. It's some of the best times that I have with my kids are on these trips. You know, obviously just being away and not the stress of every day, everything, right? So super excited about it. I'll give you more details once it gets closer. I don't like how I cut that. Because um, obviously I won't be able to do Facebook Live for probably two Fridays in a row, but we will not worry about that quite yet um because we got a little bit of time okay all right so this was my fine art floral ribbon i love kind of got a little bit of um gold accent detail right so we're going to put our bow right there and then my blue gems my blue adhesive back gems i think i need to buy more of these because i have used many 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 of these let me grab my paper snips and we're just gonna put, I just love um, how faceted they are, um, like diamonds, right? Oops, put that, put that one right there. And there we go. So just a few of these left. There's like a darker blue and a lighter blue and then bigger and smaller, but uh, I have very little to even show you guys at this point. So, all right, I think we have gotten this. So here is our, kind of flitting around, here is our, second project so those they will stay closed right when you um mail them <laughs> but they have a little bit of a hard time staying closed when i'm trying to show them to you right now so okay quick reminder recap you guys know the drill right if you put an online order in of at least 30 dollars, where are my other cards right here in front of my face okay right? You are going to get one of each of these projects. So you get these two cards right here sent to you as my thank you. Make sure you use the host code, the VXEX2AED. You also get your name in the drawing to win the Whale of a Time designer series paper that is already retired and sold out. This is the only way you can get this paper is put your online order in, right? Use that host code. Your name goes in the drawing to win the paper. If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Pastel Pearls as my additional thank you for your online order. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed these projects today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And also, if you are interested in either the Designer Series Paper Share or the In Color Club featuring a bunch of new annual catalog product, let me know and I'd be happy to get you signed up for either of those. So I hope you guys were inspired today. I hope you had a great day. I'm so glad to be spending my Friday again with you guys and we'll see you soon on our next Facebook Live. Bye everybody, take care.